Hello everyone. Have you ever noticed that when you ask a question regarding the latest information to your GPT, it doesn't provide you the information. And the reason is because your GPTs by default are trained on the older data and they can't connect to internet too. And that's the reason when you ask the current information like a weather information, you don't get the results. So in this video, I'll show how to add a web search option along with your LLM or GPT in the prompt flow. I'll first create a prompt flow in Azure AR Foundry, which was also known as Azure AI Studio. So in the prompt flow, I'll add the web search option using the SERP API. SERP API uses both the Google engine as well as the Bing search. So in this video, I'll use the Google search using the SERP API and add it to the prompt flow. And then we'll ask the question about the latest information to our LLM and get the desired result. So let me show the step-by-step -step deployment in the lab now. I'm logged into Azure portal now and let's go to Azure AI Studio. Soon it will be changed to Azure AI Foundry because Microsoft has rebranded it. Now there are two options, create a project or hub. I'll create a hub. Let's create the new resource group for this. The region will be Australia East, Shell in the hub. 0001 and by default when you create a hub the Azure AI services base model will be connected to it. I have another video explaining all this in detail. So I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video or you can click on the right corner of your screen. So let's go ahead now next storage you have to create a storage account and the credentials will be saved in the Azure Key Vault. So I'm going with the default now I'm allowing the public access identity review and create and create so the deployment has started now and i'll pause the video and we'll be back once the deployment is completed deployment is completed now let's go to the resource group and there are four resources deployed first one is a storage account and its credentials are saved in the key vault then azure ai hub and it's connected to azure ai services so let's go to azure ai hub and there is an option to launch the AI studio. So let's open it. And I mentioned previously that Microsoft has started rebranding this service. So you can see it's showing as Azure AI Foundry, not Azure AI Studio here. Now you have to create a project to work on it. So let's create the project. Shell in the project 01 and create project. Project is created now. And you can see here, there is a model catalog, playground, AI services. And if you want to understand all the components in detail, you can check the another video where I've explained Azure AI Studio and created a mini project in it. So if you want to start with a prompt flow, we need a model. So let's first go to my assets, model and endpoint and deploy a model. Let's deploy the base model. And my preference for the deployment option is the serverless API so that we don't need to manage the backend compute. So we are looking for chat completion. So let's go for GPT-40 mini and confirm. And you can see the model version, different resource location because it may not be present in Australia East. As you can see, if you click on customize, go here. It's not available in Australia is no quota is available. So that's all right. We can use in East US too. So create resource and deploy. And once the model will be created, then we can use the chat playground with this model and ask few questions here. So model is deployed now. Let's go to the playgrounds and try the chat playground. And in the chat playground, if you have multiple models deployed, you can drop down from here, but I have only deployed the single model. So it's showing here. Let's ask a question with the current information. What is the maximum temperature in Melbourne today? Spelling is wrong, but that's all right. Let's ask this question. And it's providing the answer. I don't have a real time weather data access. So it can't provide up-to-date information. 
so this is the problem with the GPTs. Now, if you want the latest information in your project, so you can't depend on the GPT. Let's deploy a prompt flow where we'll create a flow where we'll use the SERP API as well as, as well as the LLM, which is GPT-40 mini together and get the desired output. Go to prompt flow, create a standard flow. Let's name it as shell in the flow 01 and create. And a prompt flow is getting created now. Prompt flow is created now and there is a LLM as well as the Python. Let's remove them and we'll create our own flow. Delete this step and same with the LLM. Delete this step. Now save it. Now important step here is you can use the LLM prompt as well as the Python by default. But if you want to add more tools, you should have this compute session started. Start the compute session. It takes around three to five minutes. It's just showing one to three, but usually take around five minutes for me. As the compute session is getting started, time being, time being let's create a connection with the SERP API. On the left side, if you'll go to the management center, it takes you to the hub. Microsoft has changed the design. Previously, you can go to the hub directly, but now uh, you have to go to the management center. So here, if you'll go to the connected resources, then you can see all the connections. Now, if we'll create a new connection and scroll down in the other resource type, there is an option of search. So click here, but you have to provide a key. So let's first register into SERP Google search. Open the website serpapi.com and you will see this page. Now click on sign in, use your Google account or GitHub account. So I'll use my Google account. So you need to verify your email as well as verify your phone number. So first I'll verify my email. So my email is verified now. Now I have to verify my phone number. Actually it's saying that my phone number is already used because I have already registered to the SERP API using the different email. So let me open that and provide the API here. So as soon as you log in into the SERP API, you will see your private API key. And don't worry about this key, I'll regenerate another key. So let's copy this key. Go to your Azure AI Foundry. Provide this key. Let's create a new connection. So connection. Uh, which will be shared to all the projects and add connection. Sub connection is created now, as you can see here. Let's go back to our project. Here is an option of go to project and click on prompt flow. Now, because the compute session has started, as you can see, there is a VM created for the compute session. Now more tools is not graded out anymore. So click here, add the SERP API. Let's name it as search 01 add let's find the connection sub connection which we have created you want to use google or bing i'll use google location we are not providing anything for the queries the query will come from inputs dot topic or let's change it to question so inputs dot question And you can change it to active safe search. Let's leave it off for now. Let's save it. Add the LLM. Now what we are planning to do is we'll ask the question. We'll get the Google search output. And then we'll ask our LLM to provide a human readable output, which is very easy to understand. It will just provide a concise output. So click on LLM. LLM 01. 
add now there is a connection api is chat deployment sorry i have to choose another one and the deployment is gpt4 mini and the response we wanted is in text so all good now there are some changes which i want to do you are a helpful assistant who provides response based on the information provided only based on the information provided for the user let's provide the same information provide the response based only on the information provided and the reason why we are doing is so that llm doesn't use its own intelligence and provide us the outdated information we just want the latest information and the information here is information and then let's provide the question to because llm should know the question to question validate and parse input now it will ask us to provide the inputs so the information should be coming from search output which is serp api output and the question should be coming from inputs dot question which we'll ask and finally we want the output and the output let's change it to output and the output will be output of the llm we'll ask the question it will go to the search api it will provide that in google search information feed it to llm and llm will provide us the proper output let's save it let's ask a question now what time is the sunrise today in melbourne let's run first the query will be sent to serp api serp api will search the google and provide the output that output will be fed into llm and llm will concise that output and provide as a human readable output and perfect it completed successfully let's check the output and we got the result what we wanted the sunrise today in melbourne at 5:56 am on november 21 2024 and this is what we were looking for this is up to date latest information which we are getting through the serp api and we are using our gpt as well as the serp api basically we are not using the knowledge of our gpt we are training our gpt on the information from the google which is using the serp api we are training our llm on that information and then llm using its intelligence is providing us the desired output so this is how you can create a flow and use it in your application to use it in your application what you can do is go to the deploy option and then deploy the virtual machine there can be multiple if you want high availability but you can deploy the virtual machine and then the endpoint will be provided where you will get the option on how to consume it with your application i have already made a video in this if you would like to check that video there i have used python to consume the endpoint and then created a python web app which act as a chatbot so that's all i wanted to show in this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much